Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you to the Preble City Council, July the 19th. City Council meeting. We do have a public hearing tonight. We have one item uh, on the agenda for a public hearing. Madam Clerk, will you call the roll, please? Councilor Striplin? Here. Councilor Wood? Here. Councilor Brown? Here. Councilor Starnes? Here. Councilor Whiteside? Here. Councilor Bowles? Here. Councilor Boone? Here. Call this public hearing to order. We have one item, which is a resolution to authorize the mayor to have various weeded lots abated per Title 11, Chapter 67 of the Code of Alabama, 1975, as amended. Is anyone here to speak on behalf of this item? Seeing none, I declare the public hearing closed. I ask that you stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag and remain standing for our invocation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let us pray. O oh, gracious God, we come as humble as we know how. First, Lord, we want to say thank you for the many blessings that you bestowed upon each and every one of us. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for food, clothing, and shelter. Thank you for the opportunity, O Lord, to come here and do the business of the city on this night. We pray for every individual here and their families and those who are not here. Lord, I go further in this prayer tonight. I'm calling on you, Lord, to heal our land, to touch every heart, O Lord, for when the heart changes, man change. Move upon our city officials all of them, police, fire, every employee, protect them in every way. Protect every citizen, O oh Lord, from hurt, harm, and all danger. Those who are suffering from bereavement at this time, you are the healer, and we ask that you heal their broken hearts, O oh Lord. Touch them in a mighty way. Many are laid up sick in nursing homes. Be with them, O oh Lord. Again, Lord, Touch us in a mighty way that our hearts would not be hardened and that mankind would change. When we leave tonight, O oh Lord, allow us to arrive safely to our destination. We we'll give you the glory, we we'll give you the honor, we we'll give you the praise. In your name we pray. Amen. Madam Clerk, you call the roll. Councillor Striplin? Here. Councillor Wood? Here. Councillor Brown? Here. Councillor Starnes? Here. Councillor Whiteside? Here. Councillor Bowles? Here. Councillor Boone? Here. Call this meeting to order. Our character trait of the money is responsibility, knowing and doing what is expected of me. We have approval of minutes, public hearing, and city council meeting July 5th, 2016. We have a motion? We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor of approval of minutes, signify by raise your right hand. And those minutes are approved. At this time, we'll take comments from persons present regarding tonight's agenda. Anyone wish to speak on any item on tonight's agenda, please come forward. Mayor, do you have a report? Today it was my pleasure and, and honor to go over to Maxwell this morning and, and welcome some some of our Air War College uh, students coming in. And I tell you, they they've already heard about Prattle. They've already been aware of um, some of our eateries and some of our hospitality and some of our uh, our little creek walk back here. So it's really a pr pleasure and honor to uh, go over and talk with them. But um, on the way over there, I happen to notice that some of our out of town guests are still here, but. They should be finished up uh, with the project from Main Street by the time we meet again. I want to also commend our city forces that have done an excellent job on the Martin Luther King Jr. piping project. Uh, this affords additional room to walk, allows us to mechanize our maintenance and provide curb appeal while enhancing storm drainage. It's making Prattville better one project at a time. I had the privilege, uh, tomorrow is also Founders Day here in, uh, in the Fountain City. We'll celebrate the occasion of Daniel Pratt's 217th birthday at the reef laying ceremony at the Pratt Family Cemetery at 9 a.m., followed by reception at the Pataga Museum next door. So I hope everybody will be able to join us for that. There will be some refreshments there. 
Next Tuesday night is our final Creek Walk, Creek Walk concert of summer 2016. It is Military Appreciation Night and we feature Stephen Bray, a talented local veteran himself. Special Events is partnering with the Chamber of the Commerce Military's Affairs Committee to make this a great event. And again, hopefully everybody can show up. Hopefully the weather will, will work again in our favor in this one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're winding down on this quadrennium. As we all know, the period for qualification to run for election in municipal office ended at 5 p.m. today. Four years ago, approximately four years ago, each one of us put our name in that political hat. And um, since then, after the citizens voted, and since then, we've worked as a collective body. And I want to thank you guys for that. Uh, we have some that are unopposed for this current uh, election. We have some that have opponents. We have one that has not, uh, that has done their civic duty, decided not to seek re-election. I want to thank you all for your service to date and wish you God's blessing as we move forward. Mr. President, send in my report. Thank you, Mayor. Does anyone have any questions or comment from the mayor at this time? Thank you. Thank you. This time we have a report on Council Special Committees, Council Stripling. Councilor Brown? No, sir. Councilor Stearns? No, sir. Councilor Whiteside? No, sir. Councilor Bowles? No, sir. Councilor Boone? No, sir. We have a report on the city finances. First sheet in your packet is the revenue report for the month of June, uh, showing that the total of all uh, revenue for the, for the year so far uh, it was $27,516,145.65. You'll see on the revenue side, we're up 4.55% year to date. Uh, the next sheet in your packet is the tax breakdown comparison for the month of June, uh, showing that for the month of June on the tax side alone, uh, we were up 5.35% um, um, for the month of June. Next set of sheets in the packet is the expense breakdown uh, by department for the month of June. You will see that we are 75% through the year on the uh, expense side, uh, and we have spent 68.94% of our budgeted expenses in the general fund. Next sheet is the wastewater enterprise fund income statement. Uh, you will see that year to date uh, they are they have lost $321,876.87. Uh, that's primarily due to um, paying off the debt for the SRF. Next sheet is the Sanitation Enterprise Fund Income Statement. Uh, for the month of June, you will see that they have lost $242,835.46 for the year. Uh, again, that is due to the capital expenditures uh, that they had during the year and getting them set up to work more efficiently. Uh, the next sheet in your packet is the um, Judicial Special Revenue Fund Income Statement. Uh, you'll see they have uh, lost $49,575.34 for the year to date. Uh, they are kind of running pretty steady where they are. You'll see that they have um, brought in 52.78% of their budgeted revenues, uh, but they've only spent 59.24% of their budgeted expenses, so they're holding back their expenses. Uh, the next sheet in your packet is the Capital Projects Fund Income Statements uh, for the month of April, May, and June. Um, it's kind of a quarterly look at that, that fund and the activity in that fund. Next sheet in the packet is the gas tax special revenue fund income statement for the month of April, May, and June. Uh, again, you'll see the, the activity in that fund for that, those three months. Next sheet is the um, group health fund income statement for the month of April, May, and June. Uh, you'll see a little bit of a difference in the month of June. We actually put an additional $500,000 into the fund from the general fund uh, in the month of June to, to um, bring it back up, you'll see that at the end of May of 2016, the balance in the group health fund was only $10,706.99. So desperately needed to be propped back up. And that's something that we're looking at during the next budget year, uh, adding more funding from various areas and also looking at cutting expenses in that, um, in that, in 
right there. Next sheet in the packet is the uh, bank accounts balances report. Um, you'll see that the total of all bank account balances for the city of Prattville in June 2016 is $21,060,620.11. The last sheet in your packet is the accounts payable and debt balances for the month of June. The total balance was $38,765,216.13. Thank you, Mr. Mose. Does any councilman have any questions, comments for Mr. Mosley? Thank you. We're going to our agenda. We have a consent agenda to consider. We have three items on the consent agenda. Number one is a resolution to authorize the mayor to have various weeded lots abated per Title 11, Chapter 67 of the Code of Alabama, 1975, as amended. Number two is a resolution to declare various weeded lots to be a public nuisance, order their abatement, and set a public hearing per Title 11, Chapter 67 of the Code of Alabama, 1975, as amended. Number three is a resolution to set a public hearing for a lounge retail liquor class two package store license for AJ Business. LLC doing business as one stop liquor shop. We have a motion to place these three items on the consent agenda. So moved. We have a motion. Do we have a second? second. We have a second. Any discussion? All in favor of placing these items on the consent agenda signify by raising your right hand. And these items have been placed on the consent agenda. Do we have a motion to adopt the consent agenda? So moved. We have a motion to adopt. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Will it be any discussion on adoption? All in favor of adoption signify by raising your right hand. And the consent agenda is adopted. That exhausts our agenda for tonight. This time we have comments from person present on any other item. Please raise your hand. Mayor, you have any further comments? No. Councilor Stripper? No. Councilor Brown? Councilor Starnes? No, sir. Councilor Whiteside? No, sir. Councilor Bowles? Well, seeing how we have 45 more minutes, no, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> Councilor Bowman? Yes, sir. With that being said, again, thank you all for coming. Again, as I stated in my earlier prayer, I would ask that everyone continue to pray for our nation, pray that hearts become better because. I believe all things begin in the heart. When hearts are changed, men change. Thank the citizens for coming out tonight. Thank all of the proper employees for what you do. Thank this council for your work. And for those of you who are, uh, are not seeking the election, we know that we'll see you a time or two, maybe. And uh, wish everyone well, and we pray that we have a productive and positive uh, campaign. Next council meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, August 2nd, 2016, 6 p.m. in the East Council Chamber. We have a motion to adjourn. Motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. We have a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 We adjourn. Aye.